Where there's water. And you don't go as one individual, but you go as a group. Say a hundred families. And you start a village. Over there you have a greater chance of preserving your deen. Okay, second question. Concerning paper money being haram, do we get a sin and die with the sin of riba? Because obviously at the moment we can't get out of it. Okay, the answer is located in the hadith of Sahih Bukhari. It is found in Sahih Bukhari four times, four times. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells Adam alayhi salam, take out the people for Jahannam. Adam alayhi salam asks, how many are they, O Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replies and he says, out of every 1,000, take 999 for the hellfire. 999 out of every 1,000 for the hellfire. The companions of the Prophet were dismissed. He said, Bushra alakum, good news for you. The one for, Jahan the one for Jannah will be from you. Namely, someone who follows the Quran and Sunnah. This is the only one who can survive. Do you think that the peace process will be successful, the Israeli-Palestinian peace process? No, the Prophet has spoken. The hadith is in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. لَتُقَاتِلُنَّ الْيَهُودِ That has already started. So there is no possibility of this jihad ending in any other way than victory for Islam. Should we start to buy gold now? Yes, yes, yes. If you have any savings, if you have any savings, which you're not going to be using and investing immediately, do not keep it in paper. And do not keep it in the bank. If you keep it in paper, then you can prepare to use it as wallpaper. If you keep it in the bank, they will know how much you have. But if you go and buy gold, like in South Africa, they have the Kruger Rand. Hmm? If you go and buy gold, which every Manhattan banker will do <laughs> when he sees the system collapsing, then when the system collapses, you will not collapse with it. Could you please explain Mudaraba and Musharaka types of transaction? Uh, where is it? The book. <laughs> He's already taken it. In this book, you'll find a description of what is Mudaraba and what is Musharaka. Can you please explain whether the Islamic banking, which offer loans to purchase houses, is halal? What the Islamic Bank does is to lend you money on interest to buy your house, but it is disguising it as a sale. In fact, it is a loan on interest. It is riba. It is haram. It is not riba through the front door. It is riba through the back door, and it stinks. Are there any countries in the Islamic land that could possibly be self-sufficient? At least temporarily. What is the strength of the international monetary system is directly related to the extent of a country's involvement in the system. Couldn't the Muslim countries use their resources to disengage from the international monetary system? For example, to sell your oil for gold. This is a beautiful idea. Beautiful idea. But would the government of Saudi Arabia demand gold for the oil? No, the Marines will land. <laughs> and the Saudi government will be gone. It will be history. You're a client state. There's only one country in the Muslim world today, only one, which seems to have understood that this international monetary system is fraudulent. Only one leader. And he is Dr. Mahathir. 
of Malaysia. It is, it is curious that two of us have been lecturing on this subject in Malaysia for the last few years. Omar Vadilio of the Morabitun and your brother Imran. And it seems as though our lectures, because the special branch are always there, you know, to listen to our lectures, that our lectures have reached the ears of Dr. Mahadev. And so now he's seeking to introduce the Islamic dinar, the gold coin. If Dr. Mahathir restricts himself to the use of the dinar only for international trade, the Jews may allow him to get away with it. Because it will only be trade between a restricted number of countries and will not affect international trade really. But if Dr. Mahathir makes an effort to introduce gold and silver coins in the market as legal tender, I think they'll kill him. Where does inflation fit into all of this? When the value of paper falls, then prices rise. The rise in prices is called inflation. But the rise in prices does not occur for any other reason than the falling value of paper. When once we re remove paper money and we replace it with sunnah money, which has intrinsic value, then there will be no more inflation. Shall we stop now? Okay.